Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to set up a surface farm for enemies that you may want to farm that are only available on the surface, such as like werewolves or unicorns or fairies, like enemies like those that you may need to farm for materials, like a moon charm maybe, or unicorn horns, etc. So I wanted to show you how to do a setup that'll get you a way to uh, farm them. And the way the setup works essentially is that um, we're about... I want to say like 80 blocks or so off the ground so and um since enemies can only spawn off screen on solid blocks for the most part uh no enemy we're far enough that enemies won't be spawning down here and we're far away from any other buildings for them to spawn so the only place that they're able to spawn are these solid blocks that i have as their spawn surface at the bottom of the grinder and then with that we're able to just safely stand here between uh, a one block gap and just shoot at them without them being able to hit us if they have projectiles and then once we're ready to collect the loot we can just drop down get the loot head back up and then just repeat the process and the enemies will start spawning again so if you have any enemies in particular that you want to spawn you just have to switch to the surface of whatever you're standing on so let's say that we wanted to have a uh, the, the light mummy spawn in order to get the light shards we just switch the blocks that we're standing on and also switch the spawn surface so let's go ahead since light mummies only spawn on pearl sand blocks we'll just switch out the blocks we have at the bottom with pearl sand and then we go back up and then um as you can hear yeah there's already like a fairy down there like the the hollowed enemies will start spawning and include in the mummies as well see we have a light mummy that spawned and you can also get special enemies so since it is raining and um rainbow slimes can spawn in hollow biomes when it's raining we're gonna have some of those down there as well so i'm gonna go ahead step by step and show you exactly how to construct it it's really easy and doesn't take a long time to construct okay so the first thing you want to do is find an ideal spot to set up the surface grinder um, you would want to make sure that your NPCs aren't too close. I think these NPCs are a little bit too close, but it doesn't really matter to me too much because it's just for demonstration purposes. But if you do need to set it up for farming, you want to make sure that your NPCs aren't this close since they'll, they'll affect the spawn rates a little bit. But um, I found this spot like in the desert. I don't think it really matters which biome it is just as long as it's somewhere on the surface. The next thing I'm going to do is just flatten it down a little bit because I like the area to be flattened so that way whenever I do go and collect loot I won't have like enemies spawn in weird places because of one part of the the ground is like too elevated so I'm gonna go ahead and flatten it down a little bit okay so I went ahead and flattened the area just a little bit now the next step would be to set up the spawn surface for the enemies and I usually like to have the spawn surface about 40 blocks off the ground so in order to do that I would just get like 40 ropes and just build upwards until all the ropes are gone and then build the, the spawn surface on top of that. Okay so now that we're about 40 blocks off the ground what you want to do now is just set the, the spawn surface for the enemies. So you can make that anywhere from like 15 to 20 blocks long for the spawn surface. So for the I'm going to use pearl stone so I'm just going to go ahead and set it up. And then after we're done setting the spawn surface for the enemies we're going to want to just like funnel them in and keep the loot that we get inside of the um within the designated area so i like to just build up about 38 blocks or so on both sides just to keep the loot funneled in so i'm gonna go ahead and get that done right now all right so i went ahead and finished up putting 38 blocks on each side and then i just went ahead and closed it off and built a rectangle around myself and i like to make the rectangle about four blocks high so that way if you want to put a teleporter since that takes up one row of blocks we're able to put it in without any issues and um depending on your world you might have harpies spawning usually in the worlds that i make uh usually harpies start spawning while i'm trying to farm enemies and there you can ignore them or you can try and kill them normally i would just like make one wide gap blocks in the roof of the rectangle so that I'm able to shoot at them and I would just put like doors to leave. So you're able to do that if you have a weapon that can shoot through them. Uh, okay, it looks like the rockets can. But um, the harpies aren't the main issue. They'll, they'll eat up the spawns, but if you're getting harpies, you may get 
wyverns as well so if you are getting wyverns and harpies you might want to just put background wall where you're standing that way the wyverns won't spawn the harpies will still spawn but you at least won't be bothered by the wyverns and um once you're done like setting up the uh rectangle and stuff you can just go ahead and put whatever banners you have and um obviously you know you can go ahead and put down uh, a water candle if you have one of those to help speed up the spawn race a little bit and you know when you're ready you can go ahead and drink your battle potions as well all you need is a one block a one wide gap block in order to shoot projectiles at the enemies down there uh and like have two white a two white gap block so that you're able to go down there and collect the loot afterwards let's go ahead and kill these enemies first all right, so I went ahead and just finished up the settings. I just put some doors and threw down a piggy bank and whatnot. But um, once you have like the protect the rectangle around yourself to protect yourself from harpies, you're basically set. You just stand here, you keep shooting at the enemies, and you go down and collect the loot afterwards. And that's basically it. Uh, if you have any like buildings, like a, a crystal ball or ammo box or anything, you can just throw those down and you know use them whenever you need them. And yeah, you're just good to go from there. The only the only other thing you could might be able to do if you want is you can set up an artificial jungle biome with 80 at least 80 blocks of jungles. So you can just set that up like right here or something on screen and that could increase the spawns if you need that. But um I don't think that's necessary. Um other than that, you're just set. Um it's a very easy little setup to make. It doesn't take a long time and you can farm just about any surface enemy for the most part so like blood moon enemies you can farm them uh you can farm the werewolves if it's raining you can also get the angry nimbuses and yeah you just basically it's just a really easy way to get the surface enemies to spawn and farm them without having to go across the world and um like individually look for them essentially all right so i just wanted to show you an alternative grinder setup that you can do so where I'm at, I'm on the ground level instead of it being suspended in air. And essentially all I really did was just um, flatten out about 200 blocks across. So this isn't 200 exactly, this is like 190 something. But you want to do about like 200 blocks or so. And then in the middle of the 200 blocks, the field that you flatten, you want to build up the spawn area. And that's essentially what we did. It's the exact same outline as the one that we did over here. That's right here, so exact same outline. So um, the spawn surface itself is 16 blocks and it's 38 blocks high to where we're gonna stand on. And we just did it that way. Uh, this is like an alternate version you could use in case you have to deal with a bunch of harpies and stuff in your world. And you don't wanna put the background walls or you don't want the harpies to eat up the spawn surface. You can just do it like this. So we're closer to the ground so harpies won't spawn and you won't have to bother setting up background walls or anything like that. Okay, so one last thing I want to show you, this is the teleporter I mentioned. I just set it next to my spawn points for easy access whenever I teleport home. But that's a, that about does it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing and leaving your comments about the video in the comment section below. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, what I do want to say that if you haven't already, I made a video on how to set up an underground... Uh, mob farm so i'm gonna go ahead and leave that hopefully on the screen as well as the, and on the description if you want to check that out thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for the next video